Uh, you are listening to the Sports Bar Weekend. I'm Adam Catterall. Can't call is alongside me getting you in the mood uh, for a weekend of, I'll tell you what, squeaky bum. Right up until Extravaganza, about Extravaganza, mate. It's weekender extravaganza. It's going to be a banger. Uh, 0317 I'm going to give you some numbers uh, on Southgate and his tenure and all that type of stuff in a minute. But before I do, let's get to the call, shall we? Heathrow Rich, he's ready to rock and roll. How are you, Rich? You good, mate? Hey, going, boys? All right? Good, yeah, mate. Yeah. Heathrow Rich, I like Heathrow. Heathrow's my neck of the woods, mate. Yeah, I know, Khan. I know. And you like more than a cup of tea, my son. Hey, <laughs> you know that. I like a madri. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> How you doing, geese? Yeah, yeah. I'm sweet. Sweet as a nut. Listen, all the stuff about your, what you're saying about Gareth Southgate, let me start by saying, like, I don't think England have played that badly. I think it's been a very average tournament. I think the structure of the tournament changed when three teams could go could go through rather than two, and nobody wanted to lose. You've only got to look at De Bruyne, uh, 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 the French team, um, how teams have played. It's been a very average tournament mm. and nothing has stood out. All the criticism of Kane, you know, it didn't make sense that on Monday, uh, uh, Jamie and, and Jason, well, not Jason, but Jamie was talking about dropping Kane when <laughs> he's actually, he's actually, I think, joint tournament top scorer at the moment. Third, yeah. right? Five, three goals sense. he's got, yeah. But, yeah, but... They all come the from the spot, though, man. The, come on, the, doesn't the, matter. The overriding, thing, the overriding thing with me about Southgate, you ask about how he made me feel. If we don't win on Sunday, I will never forgive him for not winning. No, I will never forgive him for not winning against Italy. That's what has bugged me, and I think that's what people carry. We should never have lost that game. Yeah, I agree. And it struck me, it struck me after that game that he doesn't know how to affect We should have beaten Italy. We were one nil up. Mm. Saka shouldn't have taken that last penalty. And... It struck me against Croatia and it struck me against France that when it's come to the very, 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 very big games, he hasn't known how to affect a game properly. We should never have lost that. And if we don't win, because I thought we're never going to have a better chance to win a major tournament in my lifetime, like you were saying, Carlton, like you want to see West Ham, Brentford in the Premier League or my yeah. childhood team, they got, finally got to the Premier League miracle and England could have won a tournament in my lifetime, mm. and I'm ne- I've never forgiven him for how he affected that game. Now, moving forward, I said we'd never get, an- never get a- another opportunity. At the beginning of the tournament, if someone had said, you're going to play Spain in the final, I'd have took it. Now, if we get outplayed, we- if we get outplayed and out- outdone, and you know we lose 3-0, mm. you can't blame him for that. If we get beat by a better team, but I want him to affect a game I want him to win the trophy so I can forgive him for Wembley because that killed me for weeks after. I couldn't look at a football. I couldn't look at a TV. Wow. And that's, I think, with a lot, I think that's what a lot of England supporters feel. They're still carrying that baggage. Mm. Now, he's ridden his luck. It's, results, it's a results industry. And you say that in the Premier League, you can play nice football, but you've got to get results, right? And however he's done it, He's been right. Whatever we said about his team selection, yeah. what he was, what, what he, I said he was wrong not to, t- to. I said he was wrong to take Shaw and to take Trippier and not to take Rashford and, and a left-sided player. However, all his decisions have panned out, and if it was anybody else, that's what you judge him on. So, please God, we win, and so I can forgive him for Wembley because I never thought we'd be back in a final again so quickly. So and really, we are. Do you know something? It's a really interesting point, that. Mm. So, honestly, the emotional blast. People are, sc- people are scarred. No, no, no. It is. Listen, Rich makes a really good point because that game, we thought we'd learn from Croatia. We get to Italy. The game was done. We'd won it. We'd won it. Mm. There, with all due respect, that Italian side were rubbish. They, they knew how to defend, but they were rubbish. They weren't great. And we should have absolutely spanked him at Wembley that day. I think they was even surprised. Jorginho was man of the match, man of the <sighs> tournament. Jorginho. Uh, mate, listen, I get exactly what Rich is saying. He's, he's nailed it. He's, he's absolutely nailed it. Nailed it. He's and, nailed it. And, That's the feeling of but the, but the fans. But it is harsh, given the fact who we're playing. Yeah. They, but he, but as they he said, are a good side. Uh, as he said, he wants to give it a go. Not sit back or... Do you know what I mean? He wants to give it a right go for this final game. And if we do sit back and we invite the pressure and 
that's going to look bad. So you, you'd rather get spanked 3 0 by having a go. And I, I get it, I understand it. You've got to have a go. Uh, Phil, how are you feeling? Hey, Matt, lads, you all right, yeah? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. Go on, pal, what do you want to say? I just wanted to say, I rang up a couple of weeks ago and I was trying to be positive about the England, about, about Southgate. Yeah. And I was saying, I feel like yeah. he's educating us. I still feel like we've been educated and we're now sort of thinking along his lines. And so even if it's rubbish, I think we're like, well, we know what's happening because they're so calm. I can't mm. believe how calm mm. they are inside it. They don't panic at all, do they? They don't seem to, mate. They don't seem to. And that that then obviously brings me back to where I'm at. I feel this acceptance. I feel... Th- I genuinely feel optimistic about Sunday. I know that we're playing against an elite side. I know that we're playing, they've got one of the best midfielders in the world. They've got some incredible attacking talent. They've got some solid defence as well. But we've got the players, mate. Do, do, and we've also got this mentality, it seems. We've got the, we've got the players. We've got players that um, are capable of individual brilliance as well. Um, and I think that works in our favour. Just Even when the going gets tough and we're not doing too... Someone can just pull out something out of the hat. Saka can just go for a little mazy and then cut it back to somebody who can just put it in. You know, like we've got a get out of jail card somewhere on that pitch at all times. But we just can't. What what we don't want is just to rely on that. We actually want to play well and then try and get a result. But if we don't play well and we drag our feet over the line and we still win the game, we get lucky. I don't mind that either. So it's whatever you want. Let's just win the game. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say something now, right? One. When the team comes out and the formation comes out on Sunday night, you're going to shout at that. At half time, when the certain substitutions are or not made, <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to shout at that. <laughs> when he doesn't do what you want him to do at 70 minutes, you're going to shout at that. You're going to shout at that. It's going to be a lot of high high blood pressure, isn't it? There's we're a gonna lot get, of high blood pressure going on. We're going to get his 85, 90 minutes. He's going to do something, and right. you're going to question it. You're going, why are you doing why have that? You done that. And then you go, oh, that's why. <laughs> and then. About half an hour later, somebody's going to whack a penalty in the top bin. It was all in the plan. And then you're going to go, ah! I see where he's going with that. What a genius. I tell you. <laughs> there's going to be a lot and of that. And that's why he's England manager. There's, there's going to be a lot of that this weekend, let me tell you. Uh, Louis, are you going? Are you off to Berlin, mate? Hello, mate. I'm off to Berlin, but in one way more than another. Go on. Um, Whoa, this boys, sounds tasty. Love the show. Love the show. Massive fans of you. Carl, massive fans of you. Adam Catrell as well. Thank you, mate. Perspective. Nice one, mate. Cancelled as we're boarding. So we say that again, sorry, mate. Sorry, you, you, you missed you, that. Yeah, your signal just uh, kicked off then. So say that again, uh, Lou. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, got you. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. So Manchester Hamburg, just about to board the flight at seven o'clock. They cancelled it. <sighs> just about as we're boarding. I know. On a train now, down to Houston, staying in Houston for five hours. Pancreas to Brussels, Brussels to Cologne, Cologne to Berlin. We're on the way. Na 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 Go on, lad. Hey, Giza, Giza, how many beers are you going to be in by then, mate? That's it, mate. You might not even make the game. I will make the game. Mate, oh, is... I, I swear, really Dan. I'm, I'm, I'm on my fourth Peroni. Fourth Peroni. Already? Oh, my God. What are you talking about, mate? You've got to drink the old... You've got to get the old Spanish beers out, sunshine. You've got to drink them You've got to get the Madri oh, out, man. Get the San Miguel's. Get them nailed. Get them nailed before you get there. That's what you're going to do, lad. <laughs> What a lad! He's gone. Oh, they're He's on gone. it. Oh, they're 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 going to have a great time. What a weekend that they got they got in store, eh? I can't wait. Fair I can't wait. That's a way to do it. And I, do you know what? That travelling is just going to make it even better with the lads. Do you know what I mean? Travelling that like they've got loads of stops to get on until they get to Berlin. By the way, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. I can't wait. Was ist das? Talk sport.